Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Ah, what a perfect summer day. 9.45 and I didn't have to get up for school. I wish summer could last forever. Don't you, Daisy? Of course, Daisy's already out of bed. She seriously treats summer vacation like it's school time. She wakes up at like 7 o'clock in the morning. She's crazy. I like to sleep in on my summer vacation. Uh, and then I like to eat lots and lots of waffles. Hey, Molly. Good morning. Hey. Hey, Mom. Good morning. Hey, Molly. Hmm. Let's see. What else did I need to do before tonight? Before tonight? Why? What's tonight? Oh, nothing. <laughs> what would you like for breakfast, Molly? I'm thinking everything. I'm starving. It's like between breakfast and lunch. So I need to eat everything for breakfast and lunch. Well, actually, the thing between breakfast and lunch is called brunch. Brunch? Ooh, I like this. You mean I can eat breakfast, then eat brunch, then eat lunch? Um, well, I think you're supposed to have brunch and not eat those two things. Nah, let's eat all three. Sounds good to me. Mm. Mm. This waffle's delicious. I'm glad you like it. Mom, why are you so distracted today? What are you doing? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Just doing some last minute things. Okay. Mm. That was delicious. Now it's time to play some Roblox. Daisy, what's the password? It's you can't play Roblox because um, it's my turn. That is not the password and it's not your turn. I am actually going to play Roblox right now. Whether you like it or not. Uh, no, Molly. No Roblox right now. No Roblox right now? Are you crazy, Mom? It's time for Roblox. It's summer vacation. No, you're not going to play any Roblox today at all. Say what? Mom, do you even know what you're saying? You're going to ruin my summer vacation. I need to play Roblox. No, Molly. Did you ever stop to think that there might be something more fun to do today? More fun than Roblox? <laughs> Yeah, right, Mom. There's nothing more fun than Roblox. Well, maybe not more fun, but equally as fun and amazing to do. Mom, what exactly are you talking about? Okay, I guess it's time to tell you girls. Come on into the living room. What? What is it? I mean, really, Mom, could anything be more special and important and a good memory than playing Roblox? Well, that depends. Um... How much do you girls like doing amazing things? I like doing amazing things, don't you, Molly? Yeah, I guess. Molly, you should turn that frown upside down because I have two tickets for two very special girls to see Taylor Swift's Eras Tour tonight. What? What did you just say? Huh? Say that again? I have two tickets here that I purchased for two very special girls that I know for the Taylor Swift Eras Tour tonight. Who are the girls? Who are they? They're, they're so lucky. <laughs> Molly, I think she means us. You do mean us, right, Mom? Wait, right? we're the two special girls, right? Of course you're the two special girls. Holy guaca, Molly! We're going to see Taylor Swift! And you girls got amazing seats. Now I suggest you girls go find amazing outfits to wear. Holy moly! Daisy, we're going to see Taylor Swift! Oh, this is going to be amazing! It's going to be amazing! I can't even s s stand still. Oh my gosh. I have got to do so much stuff so that I look perfect for this concert. What am I going to wear? What am I going to wear? Okay, I'll just I'll just look at my dresser. I'm sure, I'm sure there's something good in here. How about this, Daisy? You should see me in a crown. Molly, that's Billie Eilish! Oh my god, did you just get Billie Eilish and Taylor Swift confused? <gasps> oh my gosh! I can't even be a Taylor Swift fan right now! Molly, you're just freaking out. It's okay. I seriously lose the crown. You look amazing. Where are you going to a ball or what? I just want to look amazing for this show. And you cannot go dress like that, Molly. 
I know, I know. I'll find something good. Molly, quick, Clara, go wrong. Pick out your outfit immediately. Um, okay, but you don't like this one? Molly, are you serious right now? How's this? Ta-da! Really, Molly? That's what you choose? Ugh, you and I have totally different fashion senses. <laughs> Look at it says, no, not today. <laughs> that means I'm not going to take a nap because I'm going to be at the Taylor Swift Eras Tour. Good thing we're not going to see you in concert. Everybody would boo and throw tomatoes. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. All right, I'm ready to go. All right, Molly. Um, I can't believe this. This is going to be amazing. Wait a minute, Daisy. It's only noon. The concert doesn't even start till like 7 or 8 o'clock. What are we going to do until then? Girls, come on. We're going to go to the salon and have a special girls' day. Oh, my gosh. We're getting our hair done and our nails and stuff. Your hair already looks perfect, Daisy. It could look more perfect, Molly. It really could. What do you girls think? How about a limo to go see Taylor Swift? Am I dreaming right now? I think I might be dreaming. Someone just pinch me and like, like seriously, I pinch you, Molly. <laughs> Ow, Daisy, don't really pinch me. See, you're not dreaming. Come on, girls, get in the limo. It's time to go to the salon. OMG, this is gonna be the best day of my entire life. I hope so, girls. You worked so hard this last school year. I think you deserve a special day. Well, except for Molly. She got a lot of detentions. Yeah, but I did better towards the end. Yes, Molly. A for effort. Wow, this is super loud. I know, Molly. <laughs> the hair dryer usually is. Are you going to do something special with your hair for the concert? I'm thinking about it. Oh, Molly, are you going to change your hair color? Yeah. How about this? Holy guacamole! I don't know, I'm still deciding. Wow, that's so cool, Molly. Really, you think so, Mom? I sure do. You look like a rock star. Daisy, look at me. What? You got your hair colored pinky purple colored? That's pretty cool. Thanks, Daisy, you look exactly the same. No, my hair is more shiny than it was before. Okay, girls, it's time to head out to the Taylor Swift concert. I'm so excited. Let's go get in the limo. Mom, can we stop at McDonald's? I'm really hungry. Of course we can, Molly. I'm going to stick my head out the top. I need to dry my hair before we get there. <laughs> All right, Molly. Well, be careful um, and hold on tight, okay? Okay, Mom. We're ready when you want. Mom, you have to drive the limo. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I didn't hire a driver. No one was available. Everyone was going to the Taylor Swift concert. Yeah, the town is like dead. That's because they're already there. Yeah, we just need to go through the drive-thru because I'm starving. And then, you know, we'll be on our way. Oh, guacamole! This is amazing! Molly, uh, maybe you shouldn't have stuck your head out the window of the limo. Why, does my hair look ridiculous? It's a little crazy, but... I don't care. That was fun. Oh, my gosh! There's Taylor! Taylor, it's me! I'm your biggest fan! Molly, did you buy a Taylor Swift t-shirt? I totally did. <laughs> You're the reason for the teardrops on my guitar. Oh, I'm G, an old school song. I love you, Taylor. I'm your biggest fan. Oh, my gosh. Someone is posing as Taylor is up on the stage right now. It's a, it's a stunt double, Molly. That's a... Whoa. I wish I could be Taylor Swift's taunt double. <laughs> that would be amazing. OMG, look at her rising up in the air. Wait, is that one of her fans? Oh my God, Molly. He must have jumped up on the, st on the stage. And now, wait, there's her stunt double. I can't keep track of everything that's going on at the Eras tour right now. Well, how many Taylors are there? Taylor clones. She's about to sing one of her greatest hits. I'm so excited right now. Hey, it's me. I'm the problem, it's me. OMG, I love this song. Me too, Molly. At tea time, everybody agrees. <laughs> awesome singing, Daisy. Molly, I feel like the luckiest two girls in the world right now that we got to come to this concert. Me too, Daisy. Wait, did you change your outfit? Yeah, I couldn't jump up and down a lot in that one. So I decided to just... Kick it totally cool tonight. Look at this arena. Look at all those people. Yeah, we got to stand right up front because we're YouTubers. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never going to forget this life, this this night. 
for the entire rest of my life. Hey fans, what's up? It's so nice to see you all. Welcome to Pittsburgh. All right, Ice Spice, are you ready to do our awesome song? Yeah, Taylor, totally. Whoa, which one's actually Taylor? They are the Molly. Remember, they're the clones. OMG, this is gonna be amazing. I've never seen Taylor or her clone or Ice Spice. We love you! We love you so much! <laughs> the Star Squad loves you, Taylor! <laughs> We're so happy to be here! Molly, I am screaming so loud, I can't hear anything! Neither Daisy and I'm jumping up and down so much! It's amazing. This concert is so cool! Right now, I just want to give a shout out to Molly and Daisy from the Star Squad. Everybody, let's hear it for my favorite YouTubers. Daisy, did she just say that what I think she just said? I, I think we might be dreaming, Molly. I think this might all be a dream. If it's a dream, I never want to wake up. Whoa, look at this place. This beach resort is amazing. I couldn't agree more, Molly. Wow, this is going to be the best vacation ever. Well, it's, it's a little crowded, don't you think? Never! Everybody's coming here because it's so cool, Dad. Everybody wants to have a vacation here. Yeah, Dad, duh. I mean, this is the place to be in Roblox. Hey, w where's Mom? Your mother didn't think this was the place to be. She decided she wanted a vacation by herself. Apparently, being a mom all the time is kind of hard work. Are you serious? She went on a vacation without us? <laughs> Just kidding. She's putting the baby down for a nap in the hotel. <laughs> She'll be out later. Oh, I thought you were serious. Hey, guys, let's go check it out and, and see the beach and stuff. This place looks so cool. Molly, did you just stop and check for cars? Yeah, there's cars at the beach. Duh, you don't want to get run over. Like, oh, hey, I'm on my beach vacation. I've been here for five seconds, and I got run over by a Jeep. That wouldn't be a very good vacation. Okay, she does have a point there, people. This is the nicest sand I've ever been on, seriously. Oh, is that a boat out there? Oh, my God, someone's drowning. All right, um, I'm not a lifeguard, but I'm a really good swimmer, so maybe I can help out. Just, are you okay? No, I'm drowning. I'm drowning too. Okay, well, let me just help you out. I'm rescuing you. Still rescuing you. Still rescuing you. Okay, I think I rescued you. Yes, that makes me so happy. Okay, guys, let's go and explore under the water. This is snorkeling. Buddy, you need snorkel kill. Oh, my sister is so annoying sometimes. Ow. What is that? Oh, wait, I have to come up for air. Oh, my God, I'm drowning. Um, can I rescue myself? Um, guys, I'm having a out-of-body experience. I'm seeing my life flash before me. Hello? Dad! You, you, Dad! Okay, I'm floating on top of the water. That's probably not good. Okay, maybe I can just get some air while I'm up here. Molly! Molly, I'm coming! M Molly, are you drowning? No, I'm already dead! You took so long to get here! Just kidding. Uh, that was horrible. Okay, now I'm sinking to the bottom. Dad, uh, do you know how to rescue me? Because if not, I'm about to die. Please, let's not start the beach vacation this way. Okay, Molly, just hold on. Hold on, okay, I got you above the water. You're okay, everything's gonna be fine. Okay, I'm just, I'm rescuing you now. Molly, that was terrifying to have to rescue you. You do know that when you're swimming underwater, you have to come up for air, right? Um, well, I haven't gone swimming in so long because we live where the snow never ends. She has a point, Dad. We do have very long winners. She probably forgot how to swim. Yeah, you make me go to school every day. It's not like I have time to practice anything, except for homework and detention. Oh, Molly. Oh, I'm just saying, if you go back in the water, make sure you can actually swim and come up for air. Yeah, Molly, you definitely need to know how to swim if you're going to go into water. Okay, well, I'm going to try that again without the drowning this time. Daisy, you want to come with me? Sure, Molly. I actually am a very good swimmer. Of course you are, Daisy. You're good at everything. Everybody knows that. Oh, wow. The water is crystal clear today. I want to swim out to Flat Rock. That looks amazing. And guys, look, I think the water is just going to keep getting deeper and deeper as we get farther out. That's what happens, Molly. The water just gets deeper and deeper. And you're going to drown cause, because you're too far out and you can't swim. You literally cannot swim. I can swim. I can swim. See, I'm swimming. I'm swimming. 
Oh boy. I think maybe she needs to ride a boat. Whoa, there's an ambulance! Yeah, for all the other people who can't swim. Right, I'm gonna go get on this boat, guys. I don't know if they'll care or not, but I'm definitely gonna get on it. Hey, wait, come back here. I need to go for a ride. Why can I not get out of the water? Ow! I'm <laughs> drowning on the side of the water. That was crazy. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I'm with the lifeguards. Cool. All right, can we go out to like see some things like dolph dolphins or something? Because I'm on my first vacation of the summer and I want to see all of it. I don't know where my sister went. She's somewhere out there in the water, but it doesn't matter. She's fine. Girls, stick together. Uh-oh, my dad said stick together and I don't know where my sister is. This vacation is kind of crazy. Get in the back. Whoa, the lifeguards are cray cray around here. Oh man, she looks like she's having a horrible vacation. What happened? Did you? Are you having a bad vacation? Is everything okay? Don't even talk to me right now. I'm having the worst day of my life. Oh man. Daisy, oh there you are. Hey Daisy. Hey Molly, oh so you didn't tell me that you weren't going out to Flat Rock. I swam all the way out there. Oh sorry, but I wanna go on the boat, but this boat just never seems to move. Oh wait, there we go. It's moving. Sunset Cruise. Oh Daisy, you're gonna fall off. Be careful. I'm trying not to fall off, but there's not really a seat for me. This vacation is crazy. Yeah, it's because there's so many people on it. Do you guys see any dolphins? There are a lot of people on this island, Molly. I don't see any dolphins. Maybe we'll see a shark, Molly. Jump over the edge and let's find out. Are you serious? Uh, if this is shark infested waters, that's probably a bad idea. Nonsense, Molly. You're an expert swimmer. <laughs> Not. Oh, whoa, look at, we're out on this little island and we crash on it. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I love going out on this island though. I don't know, this vacation so far has had good moments and bad. Time to go look at some fishies. Uh, Molly, you just gotta be careful. Remember, you need oxygen. I know, I know. Wow, I don't see a single fish. That usually means there's a shark nearby. Wait, what? Yeah, it scared off all the fishies. That's the way it goes. Holy moly! Um, that sounds terrifying. Buddy, it's not a good idea to be swimming after dark. The sharks will be very active then. Okay, going back on the island. Um, how do I get up there? Ah, I can't get out of the water! Daisy, can you give me a hand? Uh, no, Molly. What are you doing, Molly? Get up here! I can't. I just keep going down, down, down. Okay, there we go. Oh, finally got back up onto the island. Uh, Molly, let's get on their boat before they leave us here. And then we'd be stuck, and that would be crazy. Yeah, there's no coconut trees to eat coconuts or anything. Okay, they're saying we are going. Well, wait for us, okay? Don't leave without us, jeepers. That one lifeguard looks like he was on Castaway. Look at him, he looks like he's been on a deserted island for a really long time. He's got like a crazy beard going on. Yeah, and he kind of smells too. Don't think he's taking a bath in a while. He was probably abandoned on that island. <laughs> oh man, that's some crazy stuff right there. Molly, where are we going? I think we're going back to the shore. Yeah, we definitely are. The next day. Ah, this is the life. Oh, honey, I'm so glad we got to do some relaxing and we found that amazing um, kids daycare at the beach. Ugh, I bet baby Kira's gonna love it. Yeah, she gets to hang out and with kids her own age and stuff while you guys get to relax. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Seriously, I needed this vacation. Hey, Molly, I found a golf cart. You want to go with me on it and go for a ride? Yeah, can we, Mom? Can we? Oh, I don't know, girls. Come on, honey. We could use a little bit of just us time. We'll let the girls go have fun. Besides, Daisy's driving, right? Um, of course. I'm the responsible one. Blah, blah, blah. Responsible, responsible. Okay, where's the golf cart? It was just right here. Oh, my God, someone stole it. Okay, this beach vacation has turned into something totally crazy. <sighs> um, all right, maybe we could take this. Molly, that's not ours. Hey, hey get, get out of here. We're going for a ride. No, no, I claimed it first. <laughs> oh my God, we're all fighting over it. I can't even get in the seat. It like won't let me. Come on, Molly. We'll go see if we can find a different one. Okay, let's go see if we can find um, a different... Ooh, look at this. We could go on a jet ski. Want to? Molly, that's for the lifeguard. Are you crazy? <laughs> I was just thinking it would be fun. What? Where did you get that rainbow? Ah, uh, well, I just got it for vacation. I want a rainbow. Look like a sparkly unicorn and I didn't get one. Don't be such a grumpy Gus. You're on vacation, Molly. <sighs> well, I guess we're not going for a ride in the, um, in the golf cart or anything. Nah, I'll find 
another one, Molly. Daisy, I found an abandoned golf cart. Okay, I don't know where Daisy went, but I've got a golf cart. Wait, it doesn't run. Okay, there we go. I thought maybe it was broken. That's why someone left it here. Oh my god, this is fun. Whee! <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Should I try going up those stairs? Whoa, it's a little bumpy. I don't know where Daisy went. She went to look for a golf cart, but... I'm the only one that found one. Oh my God, guys, look at that. There is actually a water slide at this place. I didn't even know that. Okay, now I have to go down the water slide. That looks amazing. Hope nobody steals my golf cart while I'm up there. What? You have to go all the way up here on the cliffs and then you can go down it? Oh, um, gee, you can see the entire island. There you are, Molly. Daisy, look. Oh my God, this is gonna be so much fun. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, that was seriously fun. <laughs> oh, man, I've got the hiccups. <laughs> oh, boy, here we go. She's got the hiccups. Did you eat a hot dog for breakfast? What? No, ew. Hot dogs always give you hiccups. Yeah, sometimes when I eat um sushi, it does, too. I don't know why. Okay, Daisy, <coughs> let's go. Oh, you ran into the golf cart. Oh, my gosh, what are you doing? Was that Molly I just saw fly by? I thought Daisy was doing the driving. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on with the steering? Ah! Okay, um, I just got thrown completely. Okay, uh, that was crazy town. I don't know how that happened. I got in an accident. It threw me all the way over here. Did you guys just hear that? Sort of sounded like a shark. And I'm really, really far from the shore. Oh my God, guys. I gotta swim really fast. Really, really fast. Holy macaroni! It's one of those fish with those weird light things on the front of its head. Do you guys see that? Uh, I don't think they're very friendly. I'm going to swim away. And hopefully I don't run into that shark either. Ah! No! There's a the shark! Oh my god, guys. I'm in so much trouble right now. That shark looks hungry. He doesn't see me. Oh no, he definitely sees me. Ah! I met a shark on my vacation! Ah! Okay, don't follow me, please. Please. Wait, is he sinking? Is that shark in trouble? Well... At least I'm not in trouble because I don't want to get eaten by a shark. Ah, I don't know if this is the craziest vacation, worst vacation, or coolest vacation. All I know is is that I'm almost back to shore. Wait, is that whales over there? Oh, no. Wait, guys. They're not whales at all. They're, they're, they're dolphins. O-M-G. Um, can you guys give me a ride back? Uh, oh, no. I think those are orcas. No, the, those are orcas. I should have paid attention and... It, 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 into science class because I don't know what that is. Guys, can you tell me? I think that looks like an orca. At first, I was like, no, it's a whale. Then I was like, nope, it's a dolphin. But now that I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm up close. It's definitely an orca. What's down here? More whales, guys. But none of them want to seem to eat me, so that's probably a good thing. But I'm going to go back and find my family because... Right now, I am just really hungry for lunch. And I was thinking about maybe I'd have some fish sticks. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you when I get back from my vacation. Bye. Hey, guys. Welcome to my house. Hey, Timmy. This is my mom. Hey, mom. I mean, Timmy's mom, anyway. Molly, don't be rude. I'm not. I said hi. Hey, kids. It's so nice to meet you. Hi, don't mind my sister. She farts a lot. Daisy, rude. Go ahead and take a look around. Get cozy. Can I jump on your coffee table if I'm collecting coins? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. She's something else, isn't she? Can't believe she's even my sister sometimes, Timmy. Ooh, there's coins in the drawers. Molly, you don't open the drawer at people's houses. Oh, that one didn't have anything in it. Boring. Wow, there's so many coins just laying around here. I'm going to collect all of them. Okay, Molly, well, you're probably going to be the rudest house guest ever. Guys, guess what? What, Timmy? What is it? Let's go play in my backyard before it gets dark. Okay, well, I collected all these coins. Do you want them back? No, you can keep them. Wow, thanks. Come on, guys. Let's go. We can all go in the backyard. It'll be so much fun. All right, I'm just going to chill right here. Uh, if your mom could make some cupcakes, that'd be great. But Molly, there's a playground. Uh-huh. Oh, look at your little dog. Your dog's name is Winston. <gasps> he's so cute. He's friendly. Ah, he's trying to bite me. Ah! Molly, come on. Let's play in the seesaw. Stay away from his chihuahua. He seems like he'd be in a bad mood. Why? 
Because he just does, okay? He doesn't want people out here enjoying when he's enjoying his peace and quiet time. You mean pooping in the yard? <laughs> ay, 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 Molly. You're being ridiculous. Well, that's what dogs do. They poo poo in the yard. It's true. Molly, um, uh, so we have one more second and then we have to go inside. What? What are you talking about? Kids, come inside. I made dinner for everyone. See, told you, Molly. We're coming, Mom. All right, I have to get off of this thing. Oh, Daisy, you left me up in the air. That's what I don't, I don't like about the seesaw. It's like you can get left up in the air. Then what are you supposed to do? Ooh, pizza? Wow, can I live here? Mm, delicious. Hey, quit jumping on the pizza. What's wrong with you? Ruining a perfectly good pizza with your shoes on it? Ew. It's getting pretty late, you guys. I think it's time for bed. Okay, but seriously, can I live here? Because you guys have pizza all the time, and it smells so delicious, and it's the best pizza I've ever had. Okay, Mom, we're all going to bed now. Oh, wait, here's the stairs. Okay. Whoa, it's super dark in here. It's kind of creepy. I think I might change my mind. I need a nightlight. I want to go home. I want my teddy bear. Molly, don't be ridiculous. Just go onto the top bunk like you do at home and go to sleep. Okay, I'll try. I'll try, but what if I have a nightmare? What if I have a nightmare? Molly, come on. Go to sleep already. Sleep good and don't let the bed bugs bite. Wait, you have bugs here? Ew, gross, like cockroaches? Ew! 3 a.m. Bum, bum, bum! I can't sleep. Are you guys still up? Jeepers, Timmy, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I wasn't until you said something. Yeah, we're all awake now, Timmy. Yeah, way to go, Timmy. Uh, did my TV just turn, turn on? What? Oh my gosh. It did. Did you guys hear that? Uh, I heard something creepy. What? What's going on? I don't know. Maybe you just have a short circuit. It's an incoming call. Ah! It's from a... Uh, a pig! And we're getting sucked into the... To the... To the... I don't know. What do we get sucked into? The TV, Daisy Doll. Are you been paying attention to this story? Yes, Molly. I am paying attention. Wait. What the... Hey, who's this guy? Hey, you can't just wake people up at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's weird. Wait, is that John Pork? Oh, my gosh. John Pork. Seriously. Is that you? He's not answering, Molly. He's a pig. No way! It is John Pork! Look at him. It looks just like John Pork. Okay, yeah, but he's a pig. He can't speak English. This is not cool, guys. I want to go home. But it's John Pork! It's John Pork! It's John Pork! Pork, 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 pork. No way, dude. Let's stay here for a while. Molly, can you stop saying pork, 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 pork? We have no mom to boss us around. Yeah, you shouldn't boss me around either. I can say pork, 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 pork if I want. Right, John? John, say something. Come on, I know you want to. What's wrong with John? Um, I don't know, but hey, Timmy, quit turning the lights on and off. It's not me. I wasn't doing it. What's going on? I don't know, but maybe he's right. Maybe we should leave. Oh, my God! John Pork is possessed. Big time, Daisy. Did you see his demon eyes? He wants to kill us all. Look at him down there. He is evil. Stay away from John Pork. Stay far away from John Pork. Molly, could you stop saying John Pork? No, John Pork. John Pork, John Pork, John Pork, John Pork, John Pork, John Pork. Ah, oh, John Pork's got a knife. John Pork, why are you doing this to me? Oh, he's chasing Daisy now. Ah, no, he's right behind me. God, this guy can teleport. It's crazy. Well, yeah, Molly, he's an evil demon pig. Of course he can. Holy guacamole. Now he's after Daisy. He just keeps reappearing. He took down a bunch of my life, too. Stop it! Timmy's just standing there. Of course he is. No one wants to get Timmy. Okay, I think John Pork has decided to not be crazy anymore. Guys, I think we're safe now. Well, you were safe all along. All you did was stand there, Timmy. We need to find a way out of here. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I hadn't thought of that yet. Buddy, look up there. We could go through the roof. Well, that seems like an epically bad idea. No, there's a zip line. Let's go. Yeah, she's right. There's a zip line. Come on. Oh, come on, the last one. I don't want to be the last one. The last one always dies because that's where John Pork is. Right behind you, always. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, Timmy's last good. Molly, we have to be careful. I know, I know. I'll be fine. Okay, I gotta put my bat away so I can use the zip line. Timmy? Timmy? Timmy is afraid to come up on here. Let's get out of here. You're not here, Timmy. All right, I guess we'll just use the, the zip line by ourselves. 
I'll see you guys on the other side. Um, okay. Whee! <laughs> this is super fun. Ooh, we're gonna get coins too. Oh no, I don't think you do. You have to like sacrifice your life to get a coin. No, thank you. Whoa, what's happened here in the city? Daisy, this doesn't look right. But there's Timmy. Hmm, and he didn't even use the zip line. Weird. That was fun! But you didn't use the zip line! Okay, glitch in the story. Looks like we can escape over there. Let's go! Oh! John poor clones! Bam, bam, bam! Hey, quit it! Quit it, my sister! She might be annoying, but she's still my sister, crazy John Pork clone. Nice work, guys. Yeah, not that you helped at all, Timmy. You're just standing there looking out over the abyss like, oh. Let's keep moving. Molly, the bridge just fell apart. Oh, no, this is where I lose all my Robux. <sighs> Great, we have to get across. Is it timed? I hope not, because that's when I do really bad. I don't think it's timed, though. Yes! We made it. Oh, the timer started now. Well, we beat that timer, Timmy. What do you think of that? Huh, huh, huh? John Pork story. Dun, dun, dun. It looks like there's mountains blocking us. Um, and also, uh, there's something crazy going on below us, too. There's an elevator we can use. Get on, everyone. I think we're already on this elevator. I don't know if I trust it, though. Watch out for those obstacles. They look like they hurt. Obstacles? Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh my gosh. I don't I don't really like this elevator. I think it's kind of crazy town. Come over here, Molly. It seems the safest next to me. Uh, it seems like there's lava no matter where you go. What? Timmy, Timmy's having a problem. Okay, this is the strangest elevator I've ever been on. What's this all about anyway? Oh boy, there's some lava. Yep, Daisy, don't get into that lava. You'll die. I don't, Molly. I'm doing my best. I'm just trying to avoid everything. Yeah, but the lava keeps rising. Okay, I don't, I don't really understand here. Stay on the elevator and watch for obstacles. Over here, Molly. This is the best place to be. Okay, did we make it? I, I think we did. Look at Timmy. He's just floating in the, in the sky. Nothing can hurt Timmy. He's invincible. Okay, now the elevator works, except for my sister's head is stuck. Oh my gosh, Daisy, don't die. I can't live without you in this game, Daisy. John Pork, he'll get me. Molly, I'm fine in my heel. John Pork's lair. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa, we made it across. Oh, boy. Um, There's lots of tombs here. Probably a bad idea. I'm going down. Molly, no. But I wonder what's down there. Come on, let's go look. Whoa, it's like an abyss. There's only one way to find out. You guys go first. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that. Okay, well, let us go. It's like Survivor in here. Holy guacamole. Okay, yeah, I see this. Epic shot, epic shot, epic shot. What? Get safely across to the other side. Well, uh, in 29 seconds. Uh-oh, Daisy. This is where I lose my Robux. You can do this, Molly. I have faith in you. Thanks, Daisy. I hope you're right. Oh my god. No! Don't kill me, please. Oh god. I just got taken out. That was bad. And I died again. Ooh. How many times can I die? Oh my gosh. I died. All right. I got to revive myself. 35 Robux. Are you kidding me? Just kidding. I have to do it, guys. I have to. Oh, I made it to the other side. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> oh, boy, oh, Molly. I'm going to go collect these coins before you guys can. Come on. It's time to go. Great job, guys. Thanks, Timmy. Mr. I don't do anything. Looks like this is the exit. Let's go. Guys, I'm already going. Hmm, but which way is the way? Boulders on? Wait, what? Someone has to turn that machine off. I guess it's going to be me since I'm already rolling up this hill. I'm rolling up this hill, trying not to die. But no promises. Okay, um, I'm going to turn it off, guys. I'm going to turn it off. Done so. Come on, guys. This is the way. No kidding. I was already up here. Oh, wow. Look at this. I'm ahead of everyone else. I love that. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be the epic boss battle with John Pork. I just know it. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you talked. Why are you doing this, John Pork? Seriously. Because you kids deserve it. No, we don't. Let us go, John. Yeah, John Pork, you psycho. You want to leave? You're going to have to get past me. <laughs> Quit snorting. It's gross. Uh-oh, get up on this block before the lava kills you. It's rising. Is Timmy okay? Yeah, he's always okay. Timmy's invincible. It's like a cat. He's nine lives. All right, time to put the smack down on John. Watch out for that lava. Oh, boy. Wait, what? 
Did he just send out pork minions? Little porkers? Take him down! Take him down! Uh-oh. Time to get up on the block. Oh, he died in the lava. You killed your own little piglet! That's just wrong, John Pork. Wrong. Time to put the smack down on your kneecaps, John Pork. He's trying to stomp on us. He's rude. Where's his life? I mean, I need to know. Defeat evil John Pork. Oh, here comes a pork minion. Oh, Dizzy's got one of her own. Attack him. He's dizzy. Dizzy, 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 John Pork. Dizzy, 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 John Pork. I Ooh. might make you into some baby now that you're dead. No. <laughs> we did it! Yay, Molly! Did someone say bacon that's making me hungry? <laughs> Does this mean we get to go home? And also, I like scrambled eggs with my bacon! I think so. Timmy, you're clueless, okay? I'm sorry, but you really are. I think you need to go back to school and... Wait, what's that? Um, it's an incoming call. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's from... John Pork! John is calling. Shh. Well, I mean, it's kind of rude to not answer. Molly, don't answer it! I'm answering it. I'm answering it. Hello? This is Molly. How can I help you? John, are you there? John Pork. No! Where are we going? You chose to answer it, you crazy woman! <laughs> Thank you for answering my call. You brought me back to life. Wait, what? No, that can't be right. Now you will all be my prisoners. <laughs> Well, I don't think so, because, like, you know, we can just go right under those bars. We're small enough, right? What have you done? Well, you can be a prisoner here if you want, Timmy, but we're not. Hey, we got the bad ending! Oh, that's cool. Dun, dun, dun! John Pork. Huh, it's the perfect day to sit here and do absolutely nothing. Hey, Molly, what's up? Oh, Brookie, I didn't know you were going to be around today. Yeah, I thought maybe we could hang out. Do you want to? Yeah, sure, I'll hang out. Let's ride bikes. Nah, I'm feeling really lazy today. I don't want to ride bikes. Oh, um, but I rode my bike here because I thought it would be really fun. It is like 90 degrees outside today. I am not riding bikes. Too hot. Oh, we could always go swimming in your pool. Yeah, that would be amazing, except for my dad just refilled it, and the water's freezing. I don't mind cold water. Well, you would mind this. It's shocking. Come on in, Brookie. Oh, hi, Brookie. I'm just watching adorable pig videos on YouTube. Oh, hey, DZ. I just came to hang out because it's summer vacay, and it's boring at my house. Well, it's not really boring here because we have tons of snacks. Molly, do you want to watch a movie in the air conditioning? Nah. I don't want to watch a movie. Molly, not to be rude or anything, but I've been noticing something. Every time Brookie comes over to our house, you never want to do what she wants to do. What? That's, that's not true. Look, we're doing what she wants to do right now, right? Just chill on the couch. Actually, Molly, I don't want to just lay here on the couch for my summer vacay. I wanted to ride bikes or go swimming or, or watch a good movie or something. Yeah, Molly, you're just nothing but a lazy bum all summer. Hey, that's rude! I can't believe my best friend and my sister would say something so mean. Well, Molly, if the shoe fits, wear it, diva. Me? A diva? I don't think so. Um, Molly, you're wearing your sunglasses inside. That kind of makes you a diva. Um, I just want to be fashionable. Cool, you know? Diva, diva, diva. If you don't stop calling me a diva, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Guys, stop fighting. It's really frustrating that you guys fight all the time. I come over here to hang out with you guys and have fun and, well... <sighs> Molly, I have to tell you something. Okay, what is it? If you can't ever want to do anything I want to do, and it's just always about you, 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 then I don't know if we can be friends anymore. What? You would give up being my best friend? Well, you're not much of a best friend if all you ever do is be selfish, Molly. I'm not selfish. I mean, well, I guess I am kind of selfish. And also, summer vacation's not very fun when all you want to do is sit around and eat Doritos. Yeah, Molly, so what's it going to be? Um, um, well, I'll do whatever you want for 24 hours. 
and I'll see if I like the things you decide to do. Seriously? You'll give me 24 hours to do whatever we want? That sounds amazing! Uh, okay, well, I don't know how it could be more amazing than just chilling out on the couch and eating Doritos, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, this is gonna be good. Um, Pookie, can I see you over here? I wanna talk to you about something. Hey, no secrets! Molly, I'm just going to talk to Pookie only. What did you wanna tell me, Daisy? Molly is being such a selfish brat. I wouldn't blame you at all if you wanted to do things like have her take a mud bath, dress up like a giant banana for the whole town to see. <laughs> you know, fun stuff like that. Why would I be so mean, Daisy? It's not mean. It's just testing to see if she really will do whatever you want. Or if she's still the selfish person we think she is. Well, you do have a point. Um, well, there's only one way to find out. Quit whispering! I know it's about me! Um, well, um, okay, Molly. Well, you said I'd, you would do whatever I wanted to do for 24 hours. Yeah, so quit whispering and tell me! First, I want you to turn your phone upside down and be so ridiculously happy. I don't know if that's humanly possible. You just really irritated me. Molly, you promised our friendship is on the line. Ugh, okay. I'm so ridiculously happy. <laughs> Look at me. Happy, 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 happy. How's that? Whoa, that's a little creepy. I'm not used to seeing you like that, Molly. <laughs> I'm gonna go back on my computer. Have fun, you two. Okay, so what's the first thing we're gonna do? First, you're gonna dress like a giant banana and wave to everybody in town. Wait, what? Yeah, doesn't that sound like fun? I think it'll be hilarious. Everyone will be so cheered up by your banana costume. You aren't serious right now, right? Totally I am. Are you going to do it? Our friendship is on the line. Oh, I guess. I mean, I don't wanna lose my friend. Well, how do I look? <laughs> like a giant banana! <laughs> See, you're already making me super happy! Oh boy, I feel ridiculous. Oh yeah, this is YouTube gold. Molly, say hi! Turn that camera off! I'm not, oh my gosh, I'm just running out of here. Running out of here! Molly, you know what would make this so much more amusing to everybody driving by? Ugh, I'm already dressed like a banana. What else do you want from me? You should do a little banana dance and sing a song. I don't know any banana songs. Um, think of one, Molly. Our friendship is on the line. I know. You keep saying that. I'm a little banana, buh, buh, banana. I'm a little banana, buh, buh, banana. OMG. Is that Molly dressed up like a banana dancing? I'm a little banana, buh, buh, banana. A banana, but but banana. Um, Molly, don't look now, but um, Sarah's here. Sarah! I'm like Wanda Molly, how embarrassing! She's the biggest school bully in the world. I'll never hear the end of this. <laughs> what are you doing? Working for a banana farm or something? You look ridiculous. I'm trying to keep my best friend happy. I am happy. I'm so happy. Well, see you later, losers and the banana. <laughs> loser banana, that's what I meant. You're a loser banana! Whoa, that was just rude. What? The police? Seriously? Excuse me, do you have a permit? A permit? A permit for what? A permit to be a banana dancing on this street. Uh, are you serious right now? You need to be a, a, a permit to be a banana. Actually, you do. In the town of Brookhaven, you can only be a banana on the street dancing if you have a permit. Oh boy, Molly. I think you just got a really big ticket. $500? $500? Are you kidding me? Are you talking back to me right now? Because I could make that ticket 600 banana. No. I'll just pay it. All of my life savings goes to being your friend now, Brookie. I hope you're happy. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Molly. Maybe we should do something more fun than, um, than humiliating me as a banana on the street? Yeah, definitely that. Come on, let's go back to your house and we'll do something actually fun. Fun sounds like sitting on the couch and eating Doritos. No, Molly, something actually fun, like riding a bike or something. 
Ugh, fine. As long as I can take this banana suit off, I'm sweating. Okay, let's ride bikes! Okay, if that's what you want to do, but ugh, this zipper seems to be stuck on this banana costume. Can you help me out of it? Sure, let me just see if I can get the zipper. Uh-oh, Molly, I can't get the zipper either. What? I'm stuck in this banana costume? Well, let me go see if I can get some scissors out of the kitchen. Oh my gosh, I'll have to cut myself out of this banana costume. Uh, Molly, the banana costume's rented. You can't cut it or it'll cost us $500. Really? I don't have another $500. I have this ticket for being a banana. Now I'm going to get a... Uh, I'm gonna have to buy this banana costume? Oh my gosh, this is the most ridiculous day ever. And everybody wonders why I want to be in charge of what we do. Well, um, um, maybe we could just like put some butter on you and you could slide out of it. Oh, I hate my life right now. I hate my life right now! Please have butter, please have butter. Oh my God, we're out of butter! Oh no, how am I ever gonna get out of this banana costume? Well, I do have this leftover popcorn from the movies last night. That's pretty buttery. We could probably just smear the popcorn all over you and you could slide right out. Oh my gosh! Have I said I hated my life today? Have I said it? Molly, don't eat the popcorn. We need that for the butter. I'm just hungry. I need something to eat and I'm stressed out. Sometimes I stress eat. Ay, 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 yeah, Molly. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna rub all this popcorn all over me and and ah thank goodness i'm out of the banana costume now come on let's go ride bikes i want to go lay on the couch that was the worst day ever why are you making me dress like a banana anyway it was just rude and i didn't like it it wasn't even fun molly you promised for 24 hours and okay i admit the banana idea was daisy's wait what yeah, she wanted to see if you were actually going to do things for me because she said you're very selfish. Well, are you happy now? Are you satisfied? I need to rub popcorn butter all over me. And I got a $500 ticket. Yes, Molly, now we're just gonna go have real fun together. Ugh, I don't want to, but I guess because you're still my best friend and I don't wanna lose you as my friend. All right, come on, it's gonna be fun, Molly. Now come on, put a smile on. You're, you're pushing me too far, Brookie. I don't want to put a smile on. No smile ever. Whoa, Molly, your bike is so cool. I've never seen it before. That's because I hardly ever come out to ride my bike. Oh, no, there's a police officer. Okay, I'm going downtown because I definitely do not need to get another ticket for something. Whee! Okay, I have to admit, this is actually kind of fun. I told you, Molly, I knew you were gonna love it. Well, don't let it go to your head. I'm sure I'll be tired soon enough and wanna go home and just eat Doritos. Um, well, we could go swimming if you want. We could go back and go to the um, pool or something. Um, yeah, why not? It's your 24 hours. As long as I don't have to go as a giant banana. Ugh, oh, it's pretty hot. That water looks really refreshing. We don't have our bathing suits, Molly. Oh, yeah, that's true. We should probably just go home. Nonsense! We'll just jump in right with our, our regular clothes on. It'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah, you go up the diving board and I'll go down the slide. Okay. <laughs> Whatever she wants for 24 hours, I have to say yes. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> OMG, that was so much fun. <laughs> police again don't worry molly you're not dancing and singing on the street as a banana anymore i'm sure you can't get in trouble for not having a permit hi officer what's going on what's going on is that you're in the community pool without proper attire what it's not like i'm swimming naked or something i've got my clothes on i know but you're going to clog up all the filters in the community pool by wearing your shoes and clothes in. You're supposed to be wearing a bathing suit. No socks, no shoes. Go read the sign. Um, well, we didn't know, but she'll get right out. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm right out of the pool. Huh? So, um, wait, what's that? It's a ticket, and you have to pay it. $500? What? That's the cost of having all the threads from your clothes taken out of the pool filter. Have a nice day. 
Huh, why is she saying have a nice day? She wrote me tickets for a thousand dollars today. And now you see why I sit on the couch and eat Doritos. But Molly, didn't you have fun? I mean, a little bit? Huh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Even if I got a bunch of tickets and look like a total fool in front of the school bully. Excuse me, you still look like a fool. Has she been standing there that whole time? Um, no, it looks like she's in her car, Molly, and driving the block just to see you get the ticket. Oh, Sarah! Well, at least we're still BFFs. Really? You still want to be my best friend even though I've been really selfish? Yeah, Molly, after today and how devoted you were to me, there's no one I'd rather be my best friend. Oh, Brookie. Now, will you do the banana dance again? Are you serious right now? No, I'm not going to do the banana dance! Molly, I still have a few more minutes of my 24 hours. Oh, okay. I'm a banana, but, but, banana. I'm a, mama banana, but, but, banana. I'm a banana, but, but, banana. school day. Now that my bed is made, I have to find my homework. Where did I leave that? Is Molly still in bed? <coughs> By all the snowing, I would say yes. Molly, get out of bed. It's 6.20. You couldn't be late for the school bus. Uh -huh. Go away. You're such an annoying sister. What? That's rude. I was just trying to get you out of bed so you weren't late and got detention again. Go away. Fine. See if I try to help you out ever again. Mm, these pancakes are delicious. Good morning, Mom. Wait, what? Molly? Huh? What? Yeah? What do you want? You can't have any of my pancakes. They're all mine. Molly, you said you weren't going to get out of bed. You were just laying up there. Huh? What? No, I've been sitting here eating my pancakes. What are you talking about, crazy girl? Um, Daisy, do you have a fever? Are you feeling okay? Molly's been sitting here for at least 10 minutes. Well, maybe it did take me a long time to come down the elevator. It gets stuck sometimes. Uh, I'm glad you're up, Molly, because you don't want to get detention. That's absolutely right. I don't. Which means I gotta go brush my teeth. I don't want to be late. La, 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 Ew, Molly, you just brushed your teeth. Why would you want to drink coffee after you brush your teeth? What? What are, you, what are you talking about? I didn't just brush my teeth. Yes, you did. You're lying, Molly. Molly, it's not nice to lie. Who are you calling Molly? I'm not Molly. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about right now? La, 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 la. Oh, my gosh. Molly cloned herself. Have you been in my science lab, Molly? What? No. This is my identical twin, Polly. Wait, what? Yeah, um, turns out, uh, Polly likes playing Roblox too, and we met each other online in Roblox. And she's my identical twin. She's grumpy. I don't think she's a good identical twin. Hey, that's not very nice. Is that how you always talk to people who are staying at your house? She lives here? Wait a minute. She lives here? Molly, I didn't authorize this, and I'm the mom. She's only staying for a couple of days, you know, to see how life is with her identical twin. You're not actually twins, though, Molly. Well, we have different parents, but we're this thing called doppelgangers. It's crazy! Basically, we don't have the same parents, but we look exactly the same. Say what? Doppelgangers? I have to go get my dictionary and look that up. Wow, your sister's very annoying, Molly. Well, we have that in common. Hey, I heard that! She's kind of a know-it-all. Okay, it says here a doppelganger is an apparition or double of a living person. Oh my gosh. Molly, you really do have a double. Yeah, and I was thinking my double could go to school for me today. What? No. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm taking notes. This is just too crazy. Well, Molly, I mean, I think we should discuss this grumpy version of you staying in our house for a few days. Mom, it's all settled. She can sleep in my room. No, no, no. Okay, well, she can sleep on the couch. No, 
I want to sleep in Molly's room since we look exactly the same. Well, come on, Polly. I'll show you where the toothbrushes are. You're going to want to brush your teeth. Don't worry. Mom always keeps an extra in case one of my friends stays over and forgets one of theirs. Okay, thanks. Don't worry. My family will come around to liking you, I'm sure. I don't really care. Whatever. <sighs> now, what's for breakfast? Do you have Starbucks around here? Uh, no. This is Brookhaven. There's no actual Starbucks. There's a Starbucks, but not a Starbucks. Whatever. Molly, your doppelganger seems a little grumpy. Even grumpier than Molly. This is too crazy. Uh, Molly, are you wearing that to school today? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> this is an adorable shirt. Uh-huh. Sure. Molly, don't forget your homework. I don't want you to get attention again. I can't wait till my teacher sees her, like, to see my teacher's face when she realizes there's another one of me. She's probably going to pass out, Molly, from fear of having to deal with two of you at one time. School bus is here. Come on. Polly, the school bus is here. Fine. I guess I'll go, but I don't really want to. Come on, you have to. You got to be my teacher. We're going to freak her out. <laughs> what is this? The school bus is like incognito. This Okay, this is weird. Molly, something is definitely wrong with the school bus today. I know, I can't even get in the seats. Bye, girls. Have a great day. This is like a ghost school bus. It's so weird. It's like almost invisible. Hello, class. Make sure you sit down for the entire ride. Okay, ride's over. Molly, we could probably walk to school. That wasn't a very long bus ride. Walk to school? I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> I'd definitely just take the bus. Come on, Polly. Here it is. Oh, this school looks lame. It is, but don't worry. We're going to play a fun little trick on my teacher. It's going to be hilarious. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mrs. Noob. Good morning, Mrs. Noob. Today, class, we're doing one of your favorites, word problems. Oh, boy, I love these. Oh, no. And since you love word problems most of all, Molly, I would like you to come up to the board and complete the first one, please. I knew you were going to say that. So if you could read it first, Molly, that would be great. Okay. If Pete has three apples and he gives one to his friend Adam... How many apples does Pete have left? Hmm, gotta think about that for a minute, teacher. That's okay, Molly. I'll be standing right here. Molly, what are you doing? Why are you sitting back down? I told you to stay up at the board until you answer the question. Um, I guess I didn't feel like it. Molly, get up to the board, please. What are you talking about? I am at the board. Wait, but, but, you're... You're, you're sitting over there in, in, in a sea. No, Mrs. Noob, I'm right here. Ah, why is there two of you? Because you're going crazy, Mrs. Noob. There's actually only one of us, but you're seeing two. Ha 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 ha! Crazy Mrs. Noob. Oh, stop it, Molly. This is Polly, Molly's doppelganger. You could use my dictionary if you want to look that up. I know what a doppelganger is, but I just can't believe there's two Mollies. Well, actually, I'm not just another Molly. I have a different name, Polly. But they're pretty much alike, except for Polly's a bit more grumpy. Well, I, 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 I need a vacation. <laughs> Polly, this has been the best morning of my life. <laughs> Um, I think for pranking me, you both should have detention. Say what? Ugh. And, um, uh, make it start right now. G go into the English class and sit there with m m Mr. Dean. Oh, man, Mr. Dean. He smells like cow manure. Aw. Why do we have to come in here? It's called in-school detention. Don't you have that at your school? Uh, we call it in-school suspension at my school. Oh, well, here it's called detention. Well, howdy there, girls. What are you in, in school detention for? Huh, Mr. Dean? Um, whew, you're really stinky today. No offense. Well, that's because I was out spreading cow manure in my fields this morning. Um, yeah, okay. I'm just going to sit way over here. And maybe I'll just put my hand over my nose the entire time. Holy guacamole, this guy smells. Yeah, I know, but he's a pretty nice guy. Does anyone want to hear a story about how I wrestled a cow that got away? Um, not really. I, I, the sign says in school detention, be quiet. But when I'm doing in school detention, I just want to be able to talk to y'all with my cool stories. They're very cool. Um, Mr. Dean, uh, no, I'd just rather sit here quiet. Your school is horrible. You got a stinky teacher.
teacher and, and, and you got in school detention? Well, Polly, we did prank the teacher. I don't care. I'm going back to my school. See ya. But Polly, we're like long lost twins. Come back. Nah, there's only room for one of us in this school and you can have it. Polly! No! Polly! Please! I thought we had a bond! Come back! Oh. Well, Molly, it was fun while it lasted. But don't worry. You still have me. You! But you're my sister! I want my doppelganger back. She was amazing! Polly was annoying and grumpy and rude. What? No, she wasn't. Okay, well, yeah, but a little bit. I loved her! She was so cool! That's because she looked just like you and sort of acted like you too. Yeah, so? That's what made her so cool! Don't worry, Molly. I'm sure you'll see Polly again. Maybe someday when you're both grown up. I'll miss her till then. I'll miss her till then! Polly! Come back! <laughs> Today we're going to be working on some fractions. I know you guys are a little bit scared. Whoa, I can't write today. <laughs> I spelled it wrong. I know you guys are a little afraid of fractions. They seem really hard, but don't worry. I'm going to help you through it. And everyone will know how to do fractions by the end of the school year, okay? Jiminy Cricket! What was that? Was that thunder? Probably some freak storm and, you know, we are going to all be doomed. Wow, Molly, could you be any more dramatic? Well, no, not really. But anyway, I'm just kidding because I saw the weather and it's supposed to be like blue skies and sunny today. Well, maybe the weather people were wrong. They seem to never know what the weather is going to be. Well, that's true. I don't know where that is lately. Are they letting every meteorologist past college or something? Must be. But well, maybe it's just hard to guess. I don't know. But they have equipment to help them. I'm gonna look outside and see if there's any storms going on. It looks like there's some dark clouds coming from over there, teacher. Maybe we should all have early dismissal. Nice try, Molly, but there's no early dismissal today. We're going to be learning about fractions. Now, the first thing you need to know um, I have a question. Um, it's starting to look really dark outside. I think we're gonna get a storm. Uh, and it looks like an angry one. What? Oh, I, I didn't think we were supposed to get the storm that's, that's hitting Blocksburg. They're getting a terrible, terrible hurricane. Oh my, this does look like the hurricane's actually going to hit us. Oh boy, I better get inside and check out the weather station and see what it says. Um, teacher, I, I really don't think it's a good idea we stay here. Well, if the hurricane's hitting, we can't leave either. It can be dangerous. The roads will be flooded for sure. Let me just tune into the weather station on my iPad. Breaking news, breaking news. The hurricane that hit Blocksburg is now hitting Brookhaven too. Stay put. I repeat, do not drive. Do not go outside your house. This hurricane is extremely dangerous. You should... Lock down exactly where you are. Oh my, this isn't good. Stuck in this school? Oh, we don't even have sleeping bags or pajamas or anything. Oh! Uh, anybody else notice our teacher is totally freaking out right now? Well, Molly, in her defense, hurricanes can be incredibly dangerous. Well, I guess we're not learning about fractions today. We're learning a lot about hurricanes, though. Um, uh, Molly, I'm kind of nervous. I don't like big storms. Well, then why are you smiling? Um, because I smile a lot when I'm nervous. It's sort of this thing I have where I just, I, 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 I also giggle a lot when I'm nervous. <laughs> Oh, I never knew about this about you, Brookie. But that's because you've never seen her this nervous. <laughs> We're all going to die in a hurricane. <laughs> oh, this is so lame. Brookie, are you okay? You have no face right now. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. That's why. O-M-G. Okay, Brookie's gone insane. Molly, maybe we should go outside and, you know, check and see if the weather's really bad. Okay, I'll be the one to do it because I'm the most brave. Here we go. Oh, the sky is red. Uh, I've never seen it do that before. Oh my God, this is creepy. Oh yeah, the rain is coming and the, and the wind. What? Did I just see lightning? 
Oh my gosh, I did just see lightning and now the sky is purple. I better get back inside. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm taking measurements. I've never seen a storm like this in my life. Holy guacamole, Daisy, we better get inside. This is dangerous out here. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, why are you so tall all of a sudden? I had a growth spurt. <laughs> when are you gonna catch up? You seem so short lately. Holy moly. Um, teacher, teacher! There's a lot of lightning, a lot of rain, a lot of wind, and the sky is purple and red. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we really are gonna die! Nobody panic, nobody panic. I don't think it's safe for us to be near these windows though. We're all going to move into the gym since it's more centrally located inside the school and we'll start setting up to spend the night there. Um, is there anything to eat because I'm starting to get hungry? Yes, I'll go to the cafeteria and pick up some supplies. You guys head to the gym and I'll meet you there. On second thought, look at all these windows to the outside. This is probably more dangerous than I thought. Are you like trained at all for disasters? O-M-G. Yes, I'm just a little bit nervous, okay? This is my first year as a teacher and I didn't expect to be stuck in a hurricane. It's okay. Um, just, just, um, basically take us to the auditorium and everything will be okay because there's no windows in there. Oh, Daisy, what would I do without you? You're the best student ever. Come on, everyone, to the auditorium. Okay, everyone file in, please. Single file, no pushing. I'm just gonna pull up the weather channel again and see if there's any updates. Breaking news, breaking news. Everyone, panic! This is the worst hurricane Brookhaven has ever seen. Everything's flooded. Oh, make sure you get to high ground, but stay inside. Make sure you have enough food, but don't go to the grocery store. Make sure you get enough sleep and take care of yourself, but don't close your eyes. You never know what's gonna happen next. Okay, we're turning off the iPad. That's just freaking me out. All right, everyone. I did find some uh, sleeping bags in the supply room. Must be they were there for emergencies. So I'm gonna spread everyone's sleeping bag out up here on the stage. And this will be where we sleep tonight. And I also brought some snacks. Brookie, are you still freaking out? I'm, I'm sort of hyperventilating. Brookie, it's gonna be okay. Everyone's safe. Just think of this as a really interesting sleepover. I mean, we had to invite, invite Sarah, but you know. Whatever, like I'd ever come to a loser sleepover anyway. Well, Sarah, we'd probably invite you even if you didn't want to come, just because we're nice like that. Well, I'm not nice like that, and I probably wouldn't come. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We're in a hurricane. Yeah, but we're also having an amazing sleepover. According to this little instrument that I found in the science room that's supposed to measure the weather, but I'm not a meteorologist, so I don't know what it's called. What? You don't know what it's called? Daisy, I can't even believe this right now. Ah, uh, yeah, I feel a little, um, sad in myself that I don't know what this meteorologist equipment is. I'll, I'll make notes and have to look this up when I get home. But anyway, according to that, the worst of the storm is happening right now. Ah, uh, you could say that. There are actually some windows backstage, and I did see some lightning. What? The teacher told us that, 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 that there was no windows in here. Well, it's the spot that's the least windows, Bookie, and the most protected. Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. I don't believe you! I'm starting to freak out, and now I really just wanna cry. Bookie, I promise everything's gonna be okay. Your best friend is right here. Okay, everybody, I brought some food. Bean burritos, tacos. Do you guys like Mexican food? Oh my gosh, I love Mexican food. Oh no! It's gonna be terrible! What, the storm? No, you, after you eat that bean burrito. Oh, yeah. We don't want to feed Molly a bean burrito. Too late. Mm, this is actually quite delicious. Mm, this is so good. <coughs> oh, my God. Molly's farting already. She just took the first bite of a bean burrito. <coughs> Uh, I think I'd rather be out in the hurricane. What? It's not that bad. <coughs> Molly, you fought it ten times in the last five seconds. <coughs> Ew, Molly! That stinks so bad. Where's my gas mask? <laughs> I think there's an emergency in the gym. I mean, in the auditorium. Wait, where are we again? Brookie, you're still freaking out right now. It's gonna be okay, Brookie. I promise. And I have an extra bean burrito that I'm gonna eat. <coughs> Molly, please don't. <coughs> Molly! No more bean burritos for Molly. She's 
one did not eat anymore. Okay, class, I want everyone to get into their sleeping bags. Molly, no more bean burritos, seriously. We all have to actually sleep in here. <laughs> I can't believe we're sleeping in the auditorium at school. This is so weird. Yeah, but I think the storm is starting to pass now. I think you're right, class, but I think you should stay here for the night just to be safe. <sighs> I'm getting tired anyway. This was kind of stressful. I know what you mean. <laughs> this dress makes me laugh. Did I tell you that yet? Yes, like so many times. You're so annoying. I know. I'm sorry. I just can't help it. Sarah, she's not annoying. She's my best friend and she can't help it. She's just scared. Yeah, I think we all will. But in the morning, we'll go home and hopefully everything will be fine. Yeah, hopefully. 